Well, the situation is less awful now than it was a few days ago. It's by no means to be considered good. I think the fact that most of the Yazidi people have now been got off Mount Sinjar uh, is encouraging. But, of course, their plight is terrible. They'll never be able to return, at least in the short to medium term, to their towns and villages. And so you've got a couple of hundred thousand people who are now refugees who are being pushed from pillar to post between northern Iraq and, and Syria. So that is a huge humanitarian task. Well, I think the immediate uh, question has been answered to the extent that you, c you can say that um, not watching a genocide actually answers the question. But it did look a week ago as if the Yazidi people and persecuted Christians faced the prospect of being put to the sword uh, literally and almost immediately. And that prospect would seem to have gone. Had that not been the case, then it does seem that our government was willing to contribute to or mount some kind of military operation to get these people off that mountain. Now that situation has passed at the present moment. But you've still got the much longer and uh, wider issues of security in Iraq. I think the encouraging development overnight is that Prime Minister Maliki has now decided to stand down. I mean there is no doubt that uh, his fierce favouring of the Shia community alienated the Sunnis, which really gave the Islamic State fighters an opportunity to recruit the Sunnis to their cause. And I think what a new Prime Minister has to do is to re-engage the Sunni population uh, in uh, Iraq, to bring them back into the main body of politics, as indeed with American support and British support happened in sort of 2008 9 that sort of period. It's got to happen again, otherwise Islamic State is just going to have a very easy uh, pool in which to fish and gain support.